Welcome to Kingdom Devotions. I'm going to be sharing with you today from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 to 8. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 says, As you come to him, a living stone, rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. So in this, this passage, uh, Peter is using, he's going to be using the metaphor of building. Uh, building a, uh, a temple. Um, and that we're all stones in that. We are living stones. And the point is that we're precious to God, uh, just like Jesus. And we'll look at that in just a minute. But as you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. God loves us. And he's gonna, he does have a plan for our life. Now, there's also... Um, a downside that uh, we're going to look at that that's juxtaposed against because you know you're you're in the kingdom or you're not. So let's see what happens when we look at Jesus, who is the chief cornerstone. So in verses five and six, he says, "You yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ." For it stands in scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. And this is reference to, you know, uh, both in Isaiah and Psalms, and even Jesus himself said it in Matthew chapter 21, uh, verses 42 and 44. He said to them, You have read the scripture. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and this was the Lord's doing, and it was marvelous in his eyes. So the chief cornerstone in this metaphor of a building, of a temple that's being built for God, the chief cornerstone is Jesus Christ. And that goes along with this idea, um, a cornerstone is usually, in, in those days, would have been that first stone that was laid around which the whole building would be built. It's the thing that would keep it oriented in the right direction, directed, and that the builders would use that chief cornerstone uh, to build the rest of that building, okay? And in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, it says that there is only one foundation, and there is no other foundation which is laid, and that's Christ Jesus. And so we're all building on that, and we can either build on that with gold, silver, and precious things. These would be good works and obedience to the Lord and, and following his leading. And as we do that, we are building on that great foundation, that chief cornerstone. We're building a, a temple or a building that will glorify God. And together, collectively, the church is building this building uh, to glorify God, to represent him. Just like the temple in the Old Testament represented God's presence, we, his people, together reflect his presence to the world, right? So we want to do that in a way that honors God. Um, but this it's juxtaposed against this piece because we have a choice of what we're going to do with that cornerstone. So 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 7 to 8 says, So honor is for you who believe. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. And so, you know, Jesus is that cornerstone and everybody needs to build around it. Everybody needs to come to Jesus. And when we are confronted with him, we have a choice, you know, that are we going to humble ourselves and follow him or are we going to reject that cornerstone and try to build our lives around something else? So Jesus said when he, in Matthew 21, um, he said this, Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you. He was talking to the Jews at the time who ended up rejecting him. Um, He said, it'll be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. And the one who falls on the stone will be broken to pieces. And when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. So, you know, this is that salvation picture, right? Jesus is is, is the stone. He's the chief cornerstone. And we're either going to fall on him and be saved or he's going to fall on us and be judged. The Bible tells us that all judgment has been given into Jesus' hands. And so uh, he is our judge. And the Bible also tells us in um, John chapter 3, at the end of the chapter, it says that uh, we are all under God's wrath. 
humanity is under God's wrath. Romans tells us, the Apostle Paul tells us that our, our nature is to be at enmity against God, that we are uh, in our, you know, in our state, our sinful state, we are enemies of God and we will face God's wrath. That's what it means to be saved. Jesus, the chief cornerstone has come. And if we can humble ourselves and believe and fall on him, we will be forgiven and we'll be grafted in or we'll be brought in as a living stone to be part of this temple that he is building for his glory. So the choice is ours. Even today, are we going to fall on him and be saved and be transformed into his image and be part of that glorious temple? Or are we going to reject and that stone is going to fall on us and crush us? We have this opportunity, uh, it, even in this COVID situation when things are difficult, you know, it's like in the days of Pharaoh, right? When things were hard, are we going to curse God and blame him for our troubles? Or are we going to fall on him and humble ourselves before him to receive his grace? So I pray that today we will be like those who receive his grace and are built into this glorious building. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord God, for loving us, for calling us to yourself. And even in difficult times, Lord, you are drawing us to yourself so that we can receive grace and find mercy and grace in our time of need. So we bless you. We thank you today uh, that you are the chief cornerstone and we are lively stones being built into this glorious temple for your glory. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.